What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another video. Today guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about servants and the role that they're going to play within your castle. This is going to be especially important for my solo PvP players and also for my PvE players that want to dramatically increase the amount of resources that you're receiving. Um, as you guys can see, uh, I'm on the test server right now. And with this, uh, you guys can see that I have these servants available. Now, what these servants do is they serve a couple of purposes, okay? One, they help defend your castle against attackers. That means monsters, people, whatever. Um, so you're going to really want to pay attention to their moveset when you run into them in the world. Case in point, when you find them, you're going to ask yourself, how annoying were they uh, <laughs> in terms of almost killing me and or killing me and you have to think that that's what you want them to do to your enemy or your opposition when they attack you right so for instance this little lady right here um is a priestess that i found in silverlight who actually teleports like through the battlefield and does like she has like aoe stun and like she can heal like she's literally nuts um and there's some other ones like the two hand sword users and stuff like that that you can also use that are also pretty annoying to deal with. So unfortunately, I don't think we can tame creatures and or bosses. So it looks like it's just humans for now, but maybe in the future we'll have like frogs and stuff that we can get and then we can spice some things up. Now, the other purpose that they have, and there's some other stuff that we're going to talk about, but once you follow the story quest and you guys are able to do um, all the stuff and build your first coffin and all of that, and I want to talk to you guys about that as well, uh, you'll be able to send your thralls uh, or servants on missions. Now, keep in mind, and this is something that I found, initially that I thought when I saw this gear score or power level of 650, that I could just put two servants in here basically that total to, to you know 650 um but that's not how this works so you'll notice i have a success chance of zero percent to make this happen meaning i will 100 percent fail this because with this recommended power level they're recommending that each of your people individually have this power level and then you send them out together with that power level and then you'll find success <laughs> okay so please don't make this mistake uh, that i made all right so that's going to be the big thing but you can get a variety of materials based on locations and stuff that you've explored you can send them out um, and you can also adjust the time setting on how long it's going to take here. Let me go back in here and show you this while I explain this. But when you guys, let's say, pick a location and let's say I want to send somebody. Um, say we're going to send Nikki and I want to send her here. I can choose the time that it takes. So let's say hunt duration two hours, but it reduces my su su my success chance by 20 percent. But I can also get access to these materials uh pretty quickly so that's a risk that you're going to have to look at or assess if you want to take and this is really really good because you can look at a variety of locations on the map and try to determine um you know where your i don't know kind of sticking points are for materials that maybe you're unable to get because let's say your enemy blocked off a location or whatever uh, but you can find ways around that with your servants now something i do want to mention in order to craft these coffins you're going to need specific resources, one of which is a greater blood essence. Now, if you haven't gotten to a certain point or killed a certain boss in the game, it's really hard to make these, meaning you're going to need a specific material called unsullied hearts. Now, you have a very rare chance to get these unsullied hearts from pretty much any mob in the game, but they drop more so from the little mid boss mobs that you'll run into in the game. They also drop from the human bosses that you guys are also going to encounter. Please. Do not make the mistake of eating these hearts or consuming these hearts for blood. Again, they're called unsullied hearts because you're going to need them to craft your very first blood essence or first few blood essences um, so you guys can get your servants out and, and bump up your econ or at least have some basic castle defense should you be attacked early on. Now, this is very, very, very important because uh, the boss that you have to kill in order to unlock the easier or greater blood essence crafting is kind of a pain in the ass. And he's in the high 40s, uh, so you probably won't even hit him till you're like at least low 40s, maybe even 50 if you're trying to make it a little bit easier for yourself. So in order to not put yourself in a position where you can't get servants quickly, 
uh, because you ate your hearts, <laughs> please make sure you save them. So with that, um, the amount of servants that you can have is going to depend on the level of your castle heart up to nine servants total if you max your thing. So on top of that, um, once you guys get access to the prison, these humans that you capture, you can place them in the prison cell if you just want to use them because they have a high quality of blood. Because what you're looking at is you want to ultimately have all of your servants with like 100% blood capacity and you want to have all of your prisoners with 100% uh, you know, blood quality um, and obviously different variations of blood quality so you can kind of mix and match and play with your class system and that's going to be part of that. Um, however, even if you, let's say, don't have enough coffins or you're not able to build enough coffins you can basically put these prisoners in the prison cell and you can then take them back out um you just hit charm and you'll be able to take them back out and then throw them in the timer in the timer the timer chamber in the coffin so they can be converted to thralls now here's the thing though guys um when you guys get this i would advise that as you play the game try to get the floors for your crypt eventually and you'll unlock those by collecting like uh, i think scrolls or schematics i can't remember which one but in your study or your library you guys can unlock these floors to make a room called a crypt and once you make a room that's called a crypt it reduces the amount of time that it takes to convert your thralls by 50 percent because it normally takes about two hours this, then then it's like 45 minutes easy clap so that's going to be really important you're also going to want to pay attention to the benefits that they have so when sending out a team to specific regions or for specific resources, uh, you're going to want to stack the buffs that um, are most beneficial. That's going to give you the largest chance of success uh, when you guys are going through this. Now, the reason I say that you want as high of a blood quality as possible is because the higher blood quality is going to determine their expertise. So my servants right now are pretty dog. <laughs> All right. This is why their expertise is only like 3%. Uh, this one is 8%. And this one I think was like a 50 percenter. But again, the higher the percentage of the quality of blood, the higher their expertise, which means the higher amount of materials and stuff that you'll be able to acquire with uh, the more efficient uh, servants that you guys will acquire. So servitude is is a really, really big feature in this. And it's something that I didn't realize till much, much later uh, than I should have. But if it, if I would have noticed earlier, I would have been able to net myself a crap ton of resources and, of course, uh, fortify my defenses, because, again, these guys will help you defend. So you'll need to fully gear them. Uh, they have equipment slots. You can name them whatever you want. Um, it's there. It's a really, really cool system. So make sure you guys pay attention to that. But anyway, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover today. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns about the servant system, uh, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.